Welcome to Fiesta de Mexico. You're really going to enjoy this. We have music, dance, song. Very exciting. Thank you so much to the Nicholas Endowment for making this possible. Nicholas Endowment does a lot of beautiful things around the county and the state. All right, we hope everybody's having a wonderful day out there. We are Mario and Sergio, the Cuates and Company from Southern California. We're here to play some of our music. Hope you enjoy it a little bit of this and a little bit of that so without much further ado here we go with this one that goes like this from our cd the cuates oye este ritmo dice
Blanca vamos a pasear Este domingo vamos a gozar Estoy tan contento aquí con tu cariño Me hace sentir que todo el mundo es mío Como ve, no te puedo que perder Está tan lindo este amanecer Let's go cruz, la Santa Chávez Avenue Paseando juntos, solo yo y tú Siempre hay mucho que se puede We're gonna play a special song. We'd like to thank everybody for coming out. It's not from our CD, but it is one of our original recordings. We hope you like it, enjoy it. Written by Jaime Cabaldon. This is from our CD, Los Cuates Ahora y Siempre. And it's a special request for Miss Genevieve. Thank you so much for inviting us. It's a uh, privilege for us to be here. So thank you very much for that. Y bueno, pues esta que dice así. María se fue a la playa, se fue a la playa, se fue a bañar. Rosa María se fue a la playa, se fue a la playa, se fue a bañar. 
Y cuando estaba sentadita en la arena me decía con su boquita, vente vamos a bailar. Y cuando estaba sentadita en la arena me decía con su boquita, vente vamos a bailar. Rosa María se fue a la playa, se fue a la playa, se fue a bañar. Rosa María se fue a la playa, se fue a la playa, se fue a bañar. Y cuando estaba sentadita en la arena me decía con su boquita, vente vamos a bailar. Y cuando estaba sentadita en la arena me decía con su boquita, vente vamos a bailar. Rosa María, baila mi cumbia mamá. Rosa María, baila mi cumbia mamá. Rosa María, baila mi cumbia mamá. Rosa María. Baila mi cumbia, mamá. Rosa María, 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 baila mi cumbia, mamá. Rosa Maria, thank you, thank you so very, very much. All right, oye, oh yeah, este ritmo, this was composed by Sergio. I hope you like it. Oye, oh yeah, este ritmo with the cuates. You know, with this festival, it marks our one-year anniversary of bringing these festivals to you. 
virtually. Thank you so much for staying with us through this time, and we hope we brought you a little bit of beauty and joy. Pretendo ser tu dueña, no soy nada. 
no tengo vanidad de mi vida doy lo bueno soy tan pobre que otra cosa puedo dar pasarán más de mil años muchos más yo no sé si tenga amor eternidad pero allá tal como a ti en la boca llevarás sabor a mí sabor like our festival so far. It's beautiful, isn't it? I told you so. Now, if you value our festival, if you've learned something from it, and if you're having fun viewing it, please enter fun, value, or learn in the comment box so we know how much you're enjoying this. Thank you. Oh, 
Cantado por Don Que lo monte Don Felimón Y mientras los asadores Son en la riata tu gran primor Bonito es el jaripeo Y cuánta su animación Yo quiero montarle un toro Pa' que me mire mi amor Un pa' impaño Un pa' impaño Yo quiero montarle un toro Pa' que me mire mi that thank you so much Nicholas Endowment and a very very generous anonymous donor thank you so much
All right, is everybody ready to learn some of those salsa steps you've just seen uh, there at home? Well, we're here to teach you some of the steps that um, Jude and Sophie just demonstrated in their salsa routine. First of all, let me make some introductions. My name is Robert Forge. I'm the director of the Orange County School of the Arts Ballroom Dance Conservatory right here in Santa Ana. With me today, I have Jude Kamaya, uh, who is a student in the uh, OSHA Ballroom Dance Conservatory, and I have Sophie Ma, who is also a student in the OSHA Ballroom Dance Conservatory. So they'll be demonstrating the steps while I teach a little bit today. And what we're going to start out with is the basic step to salsa. It's very important because you could do this for a whole night of salsa dancing. Um, so it repeats. So let's just uh, show the leader's part. Jude will demonstrate. You go forward on your left and then back on your right and then together with your left. That's the first three steps. And the counts are quick, quick, slow. Then your right foot is free. You do the same thing, but rocking back on your right. The next step is back on your right. Replace your weight onto your left. And then step onto your right. And that's quick, quick, slow as well. Let's do the whole thing. And while Jude and I are doing the leader's part, Sophie will demonstrate the follower's part. So you'll notice it's just uh, kind of doing an opposite uh, step to what Jude and I are doing. So here we go. From the beginning, it is forward on the left, replace your weight to the right, and together on your left. Then back on the right, forward on the left, together on the right. And you notice, we'll just repeat that over and over again um, until the song ends for now. So let's give it a try. Notice that Sophie is going back on the right, replace weight forward to the left, together on the right. Now she's going forward on the left, back on the right, together on the left foot. And we'll do that over and over again until the man leads a new step. So for now, let's just give the basic a go. It's going to be a five, six, seven, eight, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, or one, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, hold eight, one, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, hold eight, if you're a numbers person. Um, from there, uh, you know, I said you could do the basic for a whole night of salsa dancing, but you might get bored after a while. So that's why we do some turns and some variations, um, like Jude and Sophie did in their routine. One that we want to show you, it's called He Goes, She Goes, He Goes. And what we're referring to is uh, turns. So say we've just done a full basic. We've done quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. The man's uh, left foot is free, and he's going to do a turn while the lady does her back rock. So he's going to go forward on the left, turn on the left foot, step forward on the right, and then complete the turn to step on the left foot. It's three steps while turning. So let's try that again. Left foot's free. We're just going to step while turning. Quick on the left, quick on the right, slow on the left. Then, as we back rock, then Sophie is going to do the turn. So we do a back rock as she steps forward to turn, and she replaces weight, and then she steps together, three steps while turning, and then we've done the he goes, she goes. So all we need is one more turn. The guy does the same thing again. He steps forward while turning, forward while turning, replace the weight, and then, um, and then we finish it with one more turn for Sophie. He goes, she goes, he goes. And it sounds like we have another she goes. So let's try, let's try that again. Um, from the basic step, we'll just do one basic and then get into the turns. Here we go. We go quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. The man leads it. Quick, quick, slow. Then she copies him. Quick, quick, slow. He does one more. Quick, quick. Slow, she copies him one more time, and then we're into the basic. Quick, quick, slow. You could do another few basics, or as many as you want, 
until you want to cue the lady to do the turns again. And since it's all lead and follow, she's just waiting for us to decide to cue these turns. So when I go quick, quick, slow, she gets the cue and she does her turn. So that, those are the steps we want to teach today. Um, and I hope you have fun learning it and enjoy the salsa. Are you ready for the food adventure now? We're going to go to Northgate Markets in La Habra, California. And they're going to show us the process in making corn tortillas. You won't believe what's involved. It's for us just to go to the store and buy tortillas. We take so much for granted of all that goes into making those tortillas. You're going to enjoy this.
Our super art instructor, Lupe Lopez, is going to show you how to make an amate bark painting, including village scenes and flowers. You're going to enjoy this project. It's very, very Mexican folkloric. Hello, welcome. I hope you are enjoying the festival today. For the art project, we're going to be making an amate paper painting using a paper bag. So this project is based on the Maya paper called amate, which is made out of bark, so tree bark. So this is an example of the mulberry bark paper. So you can kind of see and you can feel the texture. So the bark is peeled from the tree, it's boiled, made into strips, then pounded together and left out to dry to make sheets of paper. So the Maya used this paper um, to record their history. So this paper made a comeback in Mexico and was used to paint sort of scenes of the village. So it was made to tell sort of folk art about animals, villages, things like this, using very brightly colored paints. So the first step is to prepare the paper. So you can, depending on the size bag that you find, you can make a big piece or you can make some smaller manageable pieces like this. So I have scissors, so I'm going to just cut along the side. Now, if you want it to look more like the bark paper, instead of using scissors, you can rip it up. So just like this, it has uneven edges. So it's up to you whether you want the similar feel or a straighter feel. So this is going to be my piece. I'm going to go with the natural feel. And then to give it that same sort of texture, I'm going to crumple it up and then flatten it out again. You can try wetting it just a little bit and then crumpling it up so that the, the marks stay there permanently. So just a little bit of water if you do try. There we go, much better. The next step is doing the outline of your image. So they use the amata paper uh, as a, a way to do simple folk art. So they would do uh, animals, flowers, village scenes, farm scenes. So something that is not very detailed. So for example, we have, uh, so this one, so you can see it's only using three colors. Okay, so not a lot of details on the animals. Most of the details are just the white paint. This one's just simple houses with lots of cactus, cacti, when using bright colors. And this one are just birds, again, using only four colors. So decide on what you want to paint, and then you're going to do a simple outline. So I'm going to do flowers. So you won't really tell with the pencil on here, but I'm going to do, you really can't see anything on here. 
You'll see it once I paint it, but I'm going to do simple flowers. Something like this with lots of leaves. I'm gonna do some butterflies. So again, we're going to do a simple outline. So the next part is painting or coloring it in. Uh, you can try using coloring pencils, but with the brown paper, it really doesn't show as nicely as the orange. So between the coloring pencil and the paint, the paint shows um, better. But you can, if you all you have are some crayons or coloring pencils, you can use that. I'm going to use acrylic paint. So I started this one in orange, so I'll continue. And you won't need much paint. You only need a little bit. And again, just like the samples, you really only need a few colors. So I'm gonna do about four colors as well. At the end, you can outline your work either in black, a black marker, a black coloring pencil, or black paint. So here I have my butterfly. So first you're going to do all the basic shapes. So and then I'm gonna let it dry before I go back and add some details. So then I'm going to Add some flowers. I'll do some red and yellow flowers. Some of these really light colors, they might need another layer of paint. And that's up to you what you have. Once you have the main images drawn up in a single color, now you can go back and add details and try using a white or contrasting color to make them pop. So for example, so you have to make sure that the paint is dry before going back. You don't wanna end up with a pink flower by mistake. So something like this that makes the red pop. For example, on the yellow, you can do red or orange. See how just the white is making it pop 
even better. So you can do little swirls around. You can do this in black as well. So really anything to make it pop. So here we go, their finished product. So a matte paper project using a paper bag. So I hope you enjoy this project and I hope you attempt it and we'll see you at the next festival. Bye. Now join us for our next festival next month. It's the festival of the summer solstice goddess with a lot of wonderful things celebrating women. Music, song, dialogue. Join us. Thank you so much.